David, it's Connor. Just letting you know we're heading underground, so we'll be out of touch for a bit. How long until you get here? It's hard to say, David. We're still a ways out. Look, I don't know how much longer we can keep this... Don't just stand there, John. Come on. This place used to be so beautiful. The Spanish architecture, the marble floors. I'm such a mess. I'm so sorry. We're right here with you, Angie. It's gonna be okay. Looks like the entire platform is rigged. This doesn't look like resistance work. Maybe it's just old. Hardly any dust. It's recent. Expertly done, too. Wonder who built it. Better question is why they built it. stories, you know, about people who went crazy after Judgment Day. They're crawling around in places like this, eating each other to stay alive. <laughs> you mean cannibals? And did they hunt with mutant dogs, too? Don't laugh. I heard they've taken over Fullerton. That's why Command never sends anyone near there. Those are just stories. Said, cut yourself. Now what? We've heard rumors of machines with rubber skin. Supposed to look like people. Guess you ain't one of them. But that still doesn't explain what you're doing down here. My name is John Connor. This is Blair and Angie. We're on a mission to rescue resistance fighters trapped behind enemy lines at the Eagle Rock Skynet facility. <laughs> the three of you are gonna infiltrate Eagle Rock when the whole resistance just got their asses handed to them. <laughs> That's a likely story. Tell me what you're really up to. What I told you is true. Command refused to send help, so we're going it alone. We know the risks. We'll give you food and water, plus whatever other supplies we can muster. But I'm warning you, we lived in these tunnels for years without Skynet bothering us. If you brought them to our doorstep, I'll kill you with my own two hands. Understood. Thank you. Barnes is our quartermaster. He's a big guy, bald with a beard. Sings to himself a lot. Can't miss him. He'll get you what you need. If you're in trouble, just holler. Did you see the way Warren treated them? Those resistance jigs ain't bad. Hey, are you Barnes? The one and only. <laughs> right. Well, I'm John Connor. Warren said you'd help us out. I need rations. Three people for three days. 
plus whatever medical supplies you can spare. <laughs> what, y'all planning a camping trip? Something like that. Yeah, well, you need to watch your backs. Some mean old bears out there in the woods. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we've seen our share of them. Well, come this way then. followed you here. You've endangered all of our lives. I had to kill you, but I'll let Skynet do it for me. Barnes, take this waste of space and make sure our security system is working. Buy us enough time to get everyone out of here. I'm two steps ahead of you, man. I'm coming with you. Come on, follow me. He's right, though. The machines must have followed us here. It's our fault. He said no one's bothered you guys for years. Don't listen to him. Man, it happens every couple of months. Skynet finds us. We pack up and we run. He just likes to have a scapegoat. Okay, here's how we gonna do this. You keep the robots off of me while I set the charges. On my signal, we run like hell. You got it? Did you just call them robots? They're robots, right? What else should I call them? Fine. No problem.
Y'all ain't got nothing to say? Huh? No one's complimenting me on my handiwork. Come on. You designed that trap? One of my specialties. Barnes, you did a great job. You'd be an asset to the Resistance. Yeah? Well, we should talk about that later. Right now, though, we gotta hustle. John, Blair! All right, that's the last of them. We're good to go. You three, ride with me. What are you gonna do now? Get out of Los Angeles. Unless to find a new place to hide. We're never gonna win this war if we keep running from the enemy. Sorry, sweetheart, but this is a war we're never gonna win. No matter what we do. Ready your weapons, people. And some of our people are on the platform up ahead. We gotta get them on board. No, we'll be killed! Don't listen to him, Barnes. We're getting those people. All right, get them on board! train. Spiders! Keep them away from the train! Down. Here come more machines! We should just go! We're not gonna make it! Let's go, Angie! Take them down! Endo! Come on, are you kidding? Let's go, people! Move! Come on, move! Hurry up, let's clear the place out. Barnes, how many people we still need to get on board? We're clear. Let's stay, let's go.
Everyone okay? Yeah. I'm all right. Grab your stuff and let's go. Where are we going? To the depot where we keep the vehicles. We'll get cars and rendezvous with the others en route. This is John Connor calling David... Ah, oh, man. What was that? <laughs> That's Skynet jamming your signal. It's coming from their surveillance facility up in the hills. What is that thing? It's how Skynet keeps watch on the city. They're up there scanning the surface, looking for survivors. It's the reason we have to live underground. Keep close to us and keep the machines busy. There's special short waves in each vehicle. Skynet can't jam them, or at least they can't jam them very well. Put them on. Let's go.
Flight 1. This is where we part ways. We're headed back to Eagle Rock. You brought a lot of trouble to our doorstep. Still, in the end, you came through. If you change your mind, you're welcome to stay with us. Thanks. I appreciate it. But we're going after our guys. Do you even realize where you are? You're right under Skynet's eyes and ears. And <laughs> you want to sit out on foot? Hell, they're even jamming your radios, keeping you from talking to each other. You'll never reach your men. Not as long as that thing's still standing. Then we'll destroy it. <laughs> the two of you? Alone? No, not alone. Thought you were coming with us. I wanted to. I can't live like you do. Suit yourself. I'm going too. I'm tired of spending my life on the run. After all I've done for you, Barnes, you're idiots. All of you. It's suicide. It may be. But I'd rather die for a reason than live without one. <laughs> yeah. Nice knowing you. Thanks for coming along. You don't have to do this. I know I don't, but we're here, so what's the next step? If that tower is the source of our problems, it's got to go. Well, well, well.